What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some market and whatnot as per usual. It looks like the market is starting to rise considering there was no content, so that is good news. As you can see, I'm still low on MT, and I bought a ton of cards. If you guys didn't pull up to my stream, you guys don't know, my team is really, really, really good. I also have Magic Johnson over here, but I'm probably selling him. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to talk about. So, let's get into it. As usual, man, drop some likes on a video. Let's get this video to at least 120 likes. We're going to go over the, the market pretty much. I don't know if it's crashed or rise yet. Didn't look at it all day. And if you guys don't know, I might be getting my wisdom teeth pulled. So, if that does happen, I don't know. If we're going to have a video later, hopefully I could not get them pulled. We're getting a checkup. If they're bad, we're taking them out. If they're not, I'm making a video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so right now, um, there is a new Trey Young card, which I will be getting because honestly, I think he's that good. Even though his defense is non-existent, realistically, if you bait, if you if you get if your Trey Young gets beat, baiting in this game is cheese. So you switch off and then you bait the steal. And honestly, I think that might be the move. And honestly, Trey Young's offense is that good. So without further ado. Let's get into the market. Let's talk about it a little bit. And yeah, if you guys don't follow my Twitter, make sure to go follow that down below. It's at Yubbugs. But uh, yeah, yeah. last night, Clay was going for around 110 buyout. It looks like the market dips a lot at night. Galaxy Mobile Vince was around 3-something. And he actually dropped to 2-something. So that's an L. KD has went up. But the Vince Carter and MJ went down. Um, KD went up to 550, it looks like. Unless that is with shoes and stuff. Yeah, with no shoes or anything. So this KD, I will be getting soon. Once I sell my Vince and Aaron Gordon, I'm waiting for a perfect time to do so. And uh, Aaron Gordon has went up. Thank God. It looks like he's actually 148K. I think I might throw up a diamond contract on him to get him some more value. But yo, there's 22 minutes left on this. He's got a diamond contract and he's 148K. I think it is time to sell my Aaron Gordon. So... I'm going to throw on my diamond contract, and I'm going to put him up on the auction. Hopefully, he does go for that much. Hopefully, I get him for 150k. Because then if so, I can sell him, and I can sell one other guy, probably Magic Johnson, and get the new Galaxy Opal, Kevin Durant. Because once again, I'm not liking this Magic. Why? Because Westbrook, bro, is so cheap, and he's got 99.99. And honestly, I'm a cheeser. I like shooting threes. His three-point shot's only 84. It's not really going to help me in that case. So, looks like Westbrook is the new point guard for me with the 999. And then once I get Galaxy Opal KD, I will either get a Hakeem or I will end up getting a uh, Klay Thompson. No two different positions, but okay. So, right now, let's look at the market. Let's see what's going on. So, first off, if you have Buddy Heald, I would recommend selling him. He's actually really, really... He's kind of went up a lot. I sold, I got one for 55 and I sold him last night for 85. So that was a huge, huge W on the stream. Um, whoa, Trey Young is 233. I saw him at a buyout yesterday. So that's kind of weird. I literally saw this Trey Young, no joke, at a buyout. If he's actually that expensive, that's kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, Trey Young is that expensive. We might have to pull some packs to get him. But yo, right now. Trey Young honestly might be a must cop. Well, all right, so this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna say. You get Trey Young for 100k. Yeah, his defense is non-existent, but here's the thing: his three-point shot is that good. He has all the shooting badges, 31 Hall of Fame badges. So one thing I'm gonna say: his diamond jumper was money. I, I agreed with his diamond. So what do I like, dude? Baiting in this game is big. So if you do bait with this card, first off, you're gonna get beat, and then you're gonna switch probably with a really good defender if you switch they're probably gonna pass out a really good method of baiting so you should probably try that out i'm probably gonna get this card once he drops down in price but he's really rare because he's in doo-doo packs hopefully they drop new moments and stuff also man let's talk about the levine set i haven't checked it in a little bit um hopefully their prices did go up 
Let's see. Oh my god. So yeah, the Levine set has lost a ton of value. I saw my Jokic for 65k. This Dinwiddie still has a lot of value. So if you do have these cards and you're looking at this video, it is moment of the week set five. You should sell these cards. They're really expensive. I sold all my set. I sold the whole set. I made a ton of MT off it. Um, I saw them going for the low. Now they're actually pretty expensive. So if you do have these cards, please, if you want to snipe them out also, moments of the week five, try it out. You can possibly get a really good Sapphire snipe. If you do get it, congratulations. You're going to make a ton of MT. Also, bro, some spotlight cards are actually going for the kind of high right now. Like a lot of spotlights are going up in value. I should say the newer spotlights, like um, this, J some of the James Harden in the set for the Rashad Lewis one. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that are going up in value, and I hope you guys do take advantage of it. But okay, so right now, a lot of people said my diamond filter was working yesterday. If you guys don't know what bid sniping is, it's pretty much just you getting bids for the low. So right here, there's a Marcus Aldridge I can pick up for 25. He's going for around 30. Um, there's a lot of things to do with bit sniping. Honestly, LeBron has always worked on a bit snipe. I got a ton of LeBrons on the bit snipe. Also, for you guys wondering if you should sell your cards today. Honestly, I think tomorrow might be safe because they're not going to drop content on a Sunday unless they do bring back Legacy because they did drop Legacy on a Sunday a couple times. But uh, Bam at 74K. I think he's going to go up to 80. I think he's actually that good that he's going to go back to up to 80K. His stats are really, really good. I really hope he does go back up to 80K. And like I said, man, um, those moment cards are rising like crazy. For instance, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the Giannis Pink Diamond Power Forward. So he's going to be around 270K. He was at 220 yesterday. Kawhi went up from 180 to 220. AG is at 148 with 14 less. So, yeah, I threw up my cards. Hopefully, I make that MT. Zion was a 100K buyout. It looks like he's going to sell for around 120. So, yeah, the market's definitely rising for sure. Galaxy Opals definitely need to go up. Vince just uh, Vince is kind of the same, though. MJ was at like 220 yesterday. He's at like two, 300 now. We got the KD. He went up a ton. It looks like the market is starting to rise, which is really good news for us. Also, I want to check on Larry Bird. Hakeem definitely went up. Hakeem was at 110K buyout. Not too long ago on Xbox. So it looks like for you, all you guys that were patient, you're going to dub out. Bird's going for around 150. It really seems starting to seem like this market is going up in favor of us. So that's really good news. I hope it does continue to go up. It could be a good day to sell your cards now. I'm not totally sure. Also, for you guys wondering about the Steve Nashes, I got you. I'll check a little price check on Xbox One. Here we go. Steve Nash is going for around probably like 18, 19. Honestly, he should rise more. He is at a PAX. Actually, he did go up. Wow. Okay. So the Steve Nash went from 14K to around 20K. So if you guys have your Steve Nashes, I think he might rise to 30. His price keeps going up 2K every day. He's out of PAX. Let's just hope his price keeps rising. And honestly, you should probably try sniping these Steve Nashes. Also, I know Chauncey Billups did go up, so that's another W. Chauncey Billups is up a ton, and honestly, I hope you guys would be able to pick him up. But yeah, pretty much, I hope we could just keep sniping today. If you guys don't know, man, the Galaxy Oval Snipe Filter has been really good. I haven't got anything. Everybody else has been getting everything besides me. But yo, it looks like Chauncey Billups is around 7K, so he rose a ton. I wish I kept mine. He's around 7,500. So now, if you listen to my method and you picked up a ton for 4K, 3K, he's now 7,500. You're going to double your MT. If you picked up 100 of them, you're going to make about 300 plus K. So hopefully you did get him for the low and now you can sell him for 7,5. And they sell in seconds because he's really good. He's 99, 98, 99. Really good card. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's really all I got right now, man. I'm just trying to get more MT together. And one more price check. For Glitch LeBron, I would not sell this card. He is a demon for me, bro. He's going for 350 I got him for around 400 All right, I'll take the little L for this card. He's a dub. JR Smith's up a lot. He was a 100K buyout the other day. Now he's 148 Not 100K buyout, but 100K bait on the dot. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this my team. And honestly, tomorrow might be a really good day to sell your cards. I might do so. And also, I think a locker code is going to come for the, the Wade and Przingis. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Please drop that sub and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.